Hey everybody, PJ again. I'm gonna do a little video on uh, this uh, OptiFuel Polaris pump on the Whisper Light Universal. I seen Jiu Jitsu 2000 do it, and then I was like, oh man, I mean, I'd like to try it. I mean, I didn't, the stove itself, when I'm using this pump to try to get it to simmer, you got to be really, you got to either pump it really low and then do it and it's real finicky I mean it's really hard to do you can almost not simmer with it you can but it takes a lot of manipulation to get it to do that so I spent $50 because otherwise I won't use a stove if I can't simmer I'm not going to use a stove I'm going to pull out my Snow Peak Giga Power stove or something like that I like the idea of being able to use my canisters in cold weather. I like being able to have all kinds of liquid fuel without throwing a bunch of these away. So I like the stove for that sense, but I didn't like the simmer ability. So that's where this comes in right here. And I'm going to show you how easy, because see this has a Lindo valve on it. So you can leave the Lindo valve on this end of the hose and then all I have in here is the UG jet and I, I haven't changed it now you might get better fuel efficiency if you change the jet in here to the UC when you're using the canister but I'm going to show you how I can just switch back and forth and I'm going to do it in real time let me go ahead and show you I'm going to put the pump inside the uh, this is the MSR bottle it fits right in there and I'm gonna go ahead and pump it till it gets about tight so that one's ready to go make sure that valve's off there so I'm gonna stick that off to the side now I'm gonna hook up the canister Onto this. I'm gonna try to do this all real time so you can kind of see. I don't know how good you can see the flame. Hopefully, you can see it. If you turn it way up, it gets a little much with that jet. You won't do that with the right jet. But you can turn it down right there and you're still getting massive heat. I mean, this thing's going to turn this red here in just a second. I mean, it's, but you can simmer really well with a canister stove and this, or a canister with this stove because of this valve here. This valve on this, not so much because what you have is you have this big old open uh, valve here. So you get a lot of gas out of your thing. But see, you could use that by itself. I mean, you could just, you don't have to change the jet, so to speak. I mean, if you wanted better fuel efficiency, then probably be, but if you just run out of fuel and was going to use this canister, then no, you don't, because I'm going to show you. I can take this straight off from here. And now, see, <clears throat> I shouldn't even have to prime this because that thing should be good and hot. And then you just screw your uh, Lindo valve on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this one up first. And now this should, now I'm going to do this little one right here. And we'll see, that should just put it straight as a, a gas because that thing should be pretty hot. See that? I mean, that's a pretty good flame. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a lot of pressure in this little tank right now. I only did it, what, maybe 16, 17 times before it got. Uh, and I'll try to get you where you can see this really well. This right here is the part that I like. 
this little valve right here it's like micro adjusting you can just barely turn it and it's so responsive compared to this one this one you have to wait five to eight seconds for it to change with this one because of the pressure that these little valves are creating through this part it's I mean it's still about three seconds response time but watch this simmer you see that and it takes it a second to get where it's going so I can sit there and just barely even touch it you can't do that with this one in order to do that with this one the best way I found was to fold this back down and then just lightly try to crack it open and even then it would be like you know big old flame but I can get that down even by turning this just see I'm just barely even touching it see how responsive that is see that I hope you can see that because it's a big difference let me take this off of here see that it's down to a flicker and it'll stay there until I touch this little valve I got my hand on the valve you can't see it I'm just barely going to open it up just barely I'm going to keep on opening it up now I'm going to close See how responsive that is? That's fully closed. And I'm barely going to crack it open. And start turning it just a little. See, I'm barely even moving it. I'm trying to get it. And you can get it to stay right there if you want that my friend makes this stove a hundred times better in my opinion because now not only can I do full blast if I pressurize this I can get it I can get it to really scream if I want to And I actually get better boil times. I won't show it on here. Not by much, but by like 15, 20 seconds. Better with this setup than I do with this setup. This right here doesn't boil as fast as this because it's not shoot. This right here is creating a thin pressure in the valve itself to shoot that up. Now I'm going to turn it back down. See how responsive that is? I wish I had a thing to edit videos and I would put this one in. But uh and now to depressurize the tank, you would think because of the way it's leaning, this one you would pump it would be 90 degrees to the line, so you would just flip it over like this. This one's a little different because of the way that it's on the hose. But you basically just rock it. Just like that. Now I'm going to open that valve all the way up and we'll just let the tank depressurize a little bit. Because what I'm wanting to do is I'm going to get the fuel out of the line and I'm going to go back to this. If that fuel's in there and I'll put this in there, it'll kind of purge through it and it'll push that fuel, that fuel out. That should be enough. So I'm going to close off these valves. Just like so. There ain't no sitting there trying to pull that uh, thing out. This thing can be a pain sometimes to get back out of this pump. So I'm trying to do this while that thing's still lit. I don't know if I want to make it. Now I can just turn this back on. Just 
just like that. That little spit and sputtering you hear is because I'm pushing that white gas through. Let me show you this flame on this one. See, it pushed that white gas out. Now I can actually turn it, turn it up. See, now we're burning the isobutane there. Look at that pretty flame. Just by adjusting the valve, you can get it where you want it. So, so you could probably do one jet, just like the OptiFuel does. I mean, that's what the stove that goes with this pump. It runs on this valve here and one jet. All fuels through one jet. Like I say, MSR does the jets to make it more fuel efficient. But so far, I have found that it's not using that much more of this. It might be using a little. Now, in liquid feed mode, I'm not sure. But for <clears throat> just overall use, summertime, fall, spring, whatever, I wouldn't even bother changing out this jet. I'll just use it just like that. In the woods, I'm not going to really be switching this out unless, say, I run out of liquid fuel and my buddy has a canister. I'll be like, hey, man, do you care if I use, you know, your canister for a minute? You know, I mean, yeah, I could make me a fire or whatever and cook on that. But I have the option. You see what I'm saying? That option is there. And it's quick. I don't have to take this off and change it out from this. I don't have to carry this. So, now this weighs three ounces more than this. This one's two and a half. Actually, not quite. It's This one is 2.3, I think, ounces. This one's 5.1, so you can do the math on that. So, yeah, this is a little heavier, but if you're carrying this and this in conjunction with this, then you're about the same, you know what I'm saying? Without the ability to simmer like this. I will preach it. This right here is worth every penny of the $50 I spent on this stove. I mean, it just is. I, I didn't do it all in one lump sum, but this one pumps better. Let me crack this open and try to get this out. I'll show you a few little. I'll try not to make this video real long, but but this one, it's got the leather pump cup instead of the rubber one. You see how easy it was to take off. I mean, you just throw your little oil on there every once in a while. And then you just screw that right back on. It's all aluminum. The rod here is so much smoother than this one right here. This one is clunky. This one right here would probably break in my pack a lot easier than this one. This one overall, it's longer. You can see that the pump is longer. By about an inch and a half, actually. And it's going to have this long piece right here to where this one you can fold out of the way. So, yeah, it's a little bulkier. Okay, but like I say, the option to simmer for me is way better than this right here. That's it, guys. I got somebody showing up here. We'll see what they want. Y'all have a good one. Hello. Hey. Sorry,